the script I wrote uh, it's pretty much the same as the the, sh the shooting script first day of uh, first day of shooting so not a there were the budget of this wasn't immense um, and it was less than in Bruges in fact so um, we kind of had to uh, there were a couple of scenes maybe where the, the, the I could happily lose so that's the only change that came from the, the my original script to the shooting script on the on the day uh, we shot every scene in that it didn't really like I said before it didn't we didn't really improv or change a couple of the scenes the end of uh, Sam's uh, crazy shootout in the cemetery, the comments on that by the boys afterwards was probably the only improv kind of uh, scene in it. Um, uh, so we shot, uh, and there was an edited version <coughs> that had about 24, 25 minutes, was 25 minutes longer than this. Uh, so it was but it just kind of really dragged and uh, uh, especially when it got to the desert, it really did feel like the other plot was gone and they, it was just guys talking in the <laughs> desert and uh, <laughs> it, it was very French. Um, <laughs> but I love, uh, <laughs> uh, I love French films, by the way, but, uh, but it, just, it just wasn't, uh, uh, it was just <coughs> slowing everything down. Also, there was a lot more of uh, Abby and Colin's relationship in both in the script and in that first cut. But it felt like the love story was more about Colin and Sam than it was about uh, Abby, sadly. So, um, so that kind of fell by the wayside. Um, but, but overall, the script, like if you read the script from seven years ago and you saw this, you would just see you know, a bunch of scenes that were dropped, but pretty much everything else was intact. This was, I think, almost five months, maybe, editing. It was kind of longer than the last one and uh, a bit trickier and more time consuming. Um, but yeah, you, you have to, there were scenes that uh, when we filmed, like on the first day of, of shooting, I thought we couldn't ever lose any of those things. And I didn't lose any of them and I shot them all. Um, but it's funny that when, once you're looking at the material and you put it all together, those things just can fly out and drop, drop away without a question. Um, and that was, an unusual thing for me, I guess, as a writer, to to <coughs> discover the things that the, that I thought were so integral to the script, and when they were trying to get the budget down, I said, "No, that has to be in there. It's so important to character, etc." By the time you've got the material, you can just trash it. Um, it. That was an interesting thing, but I'm learning that more and more, and I'm hoping that that <coughs> process feeds into the next scripts too. That that it can be pared down even more before we start shooting. At the same time, maybe you have to shoot, you know, a lot more to yep. discover what you need afterwards. Did, how many days did you shoot? 41. Uh, That's pretty quick. Pretty quick, yeah. Uh, it felt quite intense and uh, <coughs> it was quite joyful, but because there was some, some, we jumped around in, you know, time and the visual palette was so different and locations and, and you know, the flashback stories. It was quite uh, a big, uh, it was a lot more to get one's head around than in Bruges was, which was you know, basically three guys chatting in a town. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm surprised <laughs> to hear you say that, that in Bruges was more expensive. Yeah, uh, what, I guess what, what, what all the stuff that's happened in the financial oh. market oh. since oh. then has meant you can't get as much money for a, a, you know, a quirky kind of indie film like this. I think, like I mentioned before, just keeping it as truthful as possible, keeping each scene, even, even though that, if they were outrageously comic, or, or you don't play the comedy, you just play the truth of each scene. Um, so we have about two weeks rehearsals on this, and we have three weeks on in Bruges, but two on this. So during that time, you kind of read through it, discuss everyone's uh, opinion about the characters, but just it's, it's, it's the first step to keeping it grounded and uh, keeping it truthful. Um, so no one ever plays, uh, you know, in Sam's scene when he's acting out the cemetery shootout, even though it's crazy and insane kind of scene, for him, for his character, he's, it's truthful. He's trying to, you know, impress his friends with uh, the story he's written. And we can all relate to that. Um, we, the audience, can see, you know, he's bonkers and, uh, uh, but but Sam never had to play or never tried to play it crazy or comic. 
uh, it was always true to Billy Bickle. <laughs>